Hello, welcome to another video. My name is Chris Kylie, and today I am doing a tour for you guys. We have created a massive jungle park in Planet Zoo. We have created a jungle zoo. Uh, it was inspired by another game that I really like, that is Guild Wars 2. I have some more videos online, uh, YouTube as well. I just loving being creative. I am always of. I am always being a creative person. Uh, so Planet Zoo is like the exact game for me to create crazy as you can. You have like no limits. The only limit is where your PC are giving it up or burning down. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the idea to combine my two favorite games, so Planet Zoo, but also Gold Wars 2. And I work easier with some, some inspiration to uh, work with. I have the great idea to make the jungle of Maguma jungle of the Gold Wars 2 area uh, in Planet Zoo. Of course, not copying or duplicate, but just as an inspiring where we can work with. So this is like a, maybe a longer video, but I really hope you guys uh, enjoy it. We have created for one year and three months, I believe, on this on, on Twitch. Uh, it's such a journey, but I am so proud how it looks now, how the atmosphere is, what we created. Uh, we had a lot of challenges uh, and you will see them. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is going to be like a walkthrough through the whole park. Please let me know what you think of it uh, in the comments down below. Uh, and maybe we can share like other inspiration or new ideas for a new park soon. Okay, first I will start with some footage of Gold Rush 2. So you guys can see how it is looking Gold Rush 2, uh, the areas, surroundings, the nature over there. And so you get a good impression of what we took uh, for inspiration and the overall teaming here in the Maguma jungle of Gold Rush 2 is like a big nature dragon modern of uh, it's like the dragon of the trees and plants and nature uh, will take over like the, the world <laughs> it is important for a park that it is, will be like really naturey really massive like you get the feeling like you are like a small human in the park nature the trees the rocks are like stronger and bigger than you for example we have used like this half open half closed cave uh, I will always call them like the nature windows uh, just like people have created in the jungle but uh, you cannot build or create everywhere like there are limits uh, this, so that is already like the first point like the nature is stronger than the people and I really want to bring that back in this park and also in this lovely jungle you see like a lot of beautiful uh, magical places of course like uh, you have an underground uh, temple ID with a lot of gold uh, lightning different hallways like there is really uh, you can really uh, go on an adventure here for getting your treasures and gold over here for example you see like the nature is still living uh, the roots are crawling over the ground or in the sky um, it looks like a little bit like dangerous. This is of course of the Dragon Mordvernov uh, is the ruler over there. Uh, but still I think this is a good example of what this jungle can do or the feeling of this jungle. And now we will start with the tour itself. We will uh, walk slowly to the entrance. I will just walk as a um, guest in our own park. So you will get the good of the feeling. What you can experience over there. What the atmosphere will be. I will probably not speak too much. I will just say something when we enter new area of stuff. So I hope you will enjoy the park. I will put some nice music on and it's fine. <laughs>
first here we enter the entrance the beginning area where people will arrive getting together and this is already like the first idea that we have translated the, the big open windows uh, the half cave half open area uh, it looks really magical I, I was just so happy when we have created this and with a little bit of soulful light in it and daylight uh, going through make this place really beautiful this is like also where you uh, have to pay your tickets is a little bit uh, hidden but i just like it a lot more subtle instead of like oh you enter a park i just love the feeling it is all open and connected instead of separated from each other and of course the main goal in this park was uh, using a lot of green a lot of stones uh, but also uh, the first thing what we actually did to create this park was the terrain tool i was just digging massive holes making big mountains we just did a little uh, landscaping and figure it out uh, like oh maybe we can create here an area we can do there an area and because we have created first the whole terrain area and later we have to create like oh where can people walk well what is um what is the goal where 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 we can go for i just love the feeling of a big jungle of this park that the people came later and nature was first so the people have made and designed the way around it uh, that is for example why you see this lovely bridge we have such a great time to create it and we create like everything by yourself in the park so it was taking a little bit of time but we had such uh, fun with it And the first habitat that we uh, are seeing here is like the giant ant eater and a bird tapper. It was actually a little bit too big the first habitat, but actually when we are looking at now, it looks really beautiful and like really grounding and so big that you, at least I get really the feeling that the animals were always here and the people they just enter later, you know. The giant ant eater and the bird appear are like two animals who can live together. I think some say there are a little bit of a fight over there, but uh, in overall, just they are doing good. They have like a really big space to walk, to play, even to swim. And as you hear, uh, also can see we have like created massive trees. We have like designed our own massive trees, <laughs> like out of uh, 1500 pieces. And you see like all those kind of uh, roots. I call them roots, but it's, it is just terrain. You see them throwing, uh, going over the mountains, over the ground. Uh, and that is for me like the um, translating of, of the giant tree roots so we have created a feeling like that the the tree root just growing like everywhere door the crown they are like the base the massive uh they are like the gods of this place you know so you cannot go around it or uh, through it they are just growing everywhere and that is why you sometimes see those lines growing everywhere And the nature is just like 10 times bigger than this. I'm so happy how this looks, right? It looks so magical and massive. It is for me just giving the feeling the nature is God. Uh, or is the God over here? We and, and, and the people have just made their way, uh, way around it. The roots are the fingers who are controlling this area. And I love it. It is so cool. And to make it even more a little bit special. But I think we at least have placed the trees and plants and stones for maybe 100 hours, I don't know even. <laughs>
Okay, we're going ahead. We're entering here soon like a new golden temple ID. Like it was my first experiment. Like, oh, how can we create some cool underground temple with a lot of gold coloring? And I thought, oh, why not give it the purpose like more like a food corner where people can eat and, and take a snack. We also try uh, a lot with color lights. I, I always know how cool coloring and lights in this game is working this is like more magical and setting the tone like you don't maybe have to use a lot of stuff to set a feeling or create a feeling and i think this is exactly what uh, this kind of place is People are coming together to take their food. Uh, and if you go up on stairs here, you will walk around it and you will enter like a magical cave. This, this is just my own interpretation because we did something fun with lightning and I was in the mood that time. And so we have created like a little cave where you see like water going through with some mist effects and we designed the whole cave full of stones it gets really their own shape uh, and at the end we place like a lot of lightning and well to setting the tone so it is sometimes a bit dark but also a little bit of fresh coloring over there uh, and i think it is such a funny cave to walk through to from the other exit to the new place And if you are going in the other door, uh, you will enter like exactly the same little golden temple. But this is now more a ballroom where people can eat and enjoy their uh, snacky uh, or go to the bathroom. And if you're going out of this little ballroom area, uh, you are on the ground of this cave and you can walk like going to the left or going to the right. But first we're going to the left and if you walk all the way around or you follow this pathway you will like seeing the bird appear and giant ant eater habitat from the back. So you are on the other side, so you can walk exactly like in circles over here. Like I'm going to show you guys now one like walk through, but uh, there's all more like more connections how you can get somewhere. And also here in the cave you have the entrance to the jungle lab. This lab is like another experiment of what we have created. It was more like in a team of like, oh, the nature was here first and people came later. So the people have to learn about this nature, about this jungle. What is not more fitting than an, an experiment lab for learning. <laughs> and it was actually like now for uh, exhibits. I usually not really do a lot with exhibits uh, but for now it was really cool to see what we can do in a, like a really smaller place where people can learn about the nature so you will see through the roofing and stuff that the still the jungle is growing it is maybe a little bit older already the place gets overgrown by green and we did just with some color lightning little uh, wooden structures we create this little lab uh, where people can see the exhibits and we added like the little stuff like an air fan or uh, chemical tubes uh, so you get the feeling like there's something going on they are experimenting maybe some air is going through the tubes or 
uh dna i don't know <laughs> what you can imagine yeah it looks really cozy in here i think it sets the fly And we can go over this little bridge a little thing in between I try also to do all the water designs like normally I just place water and it is water uh, and now we thought like oh why not making something in the water as well like the nature is growing or living there as well of course and if we go downstairs here we have a, like a little bistro uh, it is like in the same vibe of the, the jungle lab. This is of course the jungle labs. Uh, but here people can just take some rest and eat a bit. And we have created like a little window so people can see in the water what is going on. Uh, I think it is a, such a cozy place. It's such a warm place. Sometimes I wish uh, this was existing so you can experience like in real life, right? <laughs> And if we are going further in this little cave, we are actually walking the wrong way now. But this is like uh, the back hallway of the Llama Temple. We have created a big Llama Temple where we are arriving soon. Uh, but this is like another option to go. And here we just did something fun with uh, a garden upside down. Like why not? <laughs> Let's try new stuff. We have created for hours underground. Uh, le let's even make it more special or a bit different than we know. And I think all these little areas make it so fun to play this game. There's so much to do and so much to see. And we're moving on. We are now back at the bird tapir and the giant ant eater habitat. And we're going all the way up. This is like a little temple ID. A little structure where you can choose where to go or you can go back to the entrance or you can go to the left and then we are going to the red panda area i just try to make these like little temple pieces and place them everywhere so you get a bit of the feeling like people have created before but it is now maybe a bit destroyed or old or uh, the nature is just doing their thing <laughs> Let's go to the red panda habitat here. We had like a cool challenge where we have to conquer. <laughs> because this was the first time we really struggled with level heights in this game. Because what I say, we have created the terrain before we even did some of the buildings. So it was a good challenge to see, okay, like how can we go down now? Like we're all the way up and we have to reach in a shorter time and the lower areas uh, because there was the m a nice place to create a new habitat as you can see we created like a, s a snake road or i call it a snake road it always remind me a bit of the like the snake roads in uh, san francisco uh, but it is it is really fitting you can see like the people have created but that is also fitting because the humans want to go down so they have to make uh, the way uh, to it <laughs> here we are arriving the red panda habitat this was actually our second habitat so we have learned from the first one it was maybe a bit too big and i thought okay the next one has to be a bit smaller because it would 
we will not take like 10 streams before we end it but the red pandas are like really small creatures so it is still a bit too big but uh, i love the i love this little environment we have actually created like a, a cool place for them where they can sleep eat and play with each other this is like already a big family of the red pandas they're doing their job really good and you can just almost walk around it And as you see, we, we just place like little parts, right? It is not a, like a really big building somewhere now, but just little pieces. There was maybe something before, but uh, it is all nature-y. They're having their lovely place, a lot of place to play, uh, have fun with it. And the people will always stay a bit higher in this case, and they can actually reach a temple, another temple. <laughs> <laughs> like we i call everything a temple here so <laughs> At the end of uh, this little road, you have like a nice view over this habitat and you are standing before like a little dining area. This was actually my first dining place I ever created. So it was just new for me how you can make a bistro in this game. I had really fun with it. I was just like, oh, let's make a cave because all those tables and chairs are not uh, stuck to the ground. So how is it working? And I discovered so like you don't have to place the tables and chairs on the pathway. You can just place them on different places and you just have to connect it. Uh, so I thought like, oh, let's make a cave where people not actually can walk, but because people will spawn through the place, you get the feeling uh, people can walk through the cave. And that is what we did over here. Now we're going slowly to our next habitat, uh, and that is the llama habitat. A little bit of a background story. I thought like every jungle has probably a king or a queen uh, who is like ruling this jungle. And in this case, the llamas are the queens and kings here. <laughs> and that is what I really want to uh, achieve in this park. But before we are reaching the habitat, uh, you will for example see this enormous open area where the big nature mountains are growing everywhere and the people are just going in this place and it's getting a bit darker and the light 
it is making it a bit better for the people to see i just love this little setting enter our own risk <laughs> uh, because we are going through like more a jungly tomb i call this the golden llama temple but i say everything is here in temple but this is like a little bit more special one because what i say the llamas get worshipped here they are like the gods so they need more place more space and more attention before the people will see them and we are entering like the first hall i call it the earth llama hall we experimenting here again with some lightning some leaf effects and the trees upside down like a feeling that the nature will grow inside this place what i say it is like old and 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 uh, this is a bit more magical atmospheric that the nature will take over what the people have created And there we entering the water llama hall this is like a bit more of a clean place just structured we have created like with real water the walls and a lot of bubbles in it uh, this is more just a zen place where the llama spits some water like another build up for the worship of the llamas and 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 the hype to see the llamas in real life And if we are moving on, you will enter like the llama habitat eventually. It's like a really big open cave. And it is like another challenge to build a habitat underground. Uh, where there is no, like, no sunlight and no weather over here. For the llamas it is all fine, they have their fun over here. And I love the difference between dark and light in this place some places are like really dark and some things are like really brighted up uh, again over here we have created massive holes with a lot of trees and light in it uh, to create the feeling like the light is raining down in the cave nature is growing on the ceiling it's getting back so you get the feeling it is half open half closed but this is actually all closed in one place uh, and i just love this little feeling also with the little leaf effects it's just magical uh, the llamas looks really happy here <laughs> there's a big family already The views are really cute and comfy and uh, we place some magical hanging parts with lightning on it and a little sleeping area in the same temple kind of theme as well.
as I say, you can go now to the jungle left form of here, but we will walk the way back. Uh, so we can go through with our tour. Uh, you have to go do this little naturey place. This is a more little, little bit like dance, and I love it. Just some green part, just some closure, chill uh, areas. And slowly uh, we are arriving to the hippo habitat. The hippo habitat is actually a an, an bigger one again. The habitat itself is uh, smaller, but we created the area much bigger for them. It was first actually because <laughs> the animals were complaining they haven't like enough room. And so we expanded and expanded uh, like three times, I believe. And that is how it's created to, till this. We have created like every habitat with like the invisible barriers, like the new zero barrier. I think it is a really great tool to create your habitats with it because it is challenging you to how create your own barriers. Uh, you can do it with terrain, you can do it with uh, the objects do you have, you can do it with the plants and trees to stop them etc uh, and i think that is a really cool tool to create your naturey open places and it is like you have no limits to create what you want and that's exactly what this is over here they have like also like a little temple front door <laughs> it is more like overgrown you see like the lianes and moss growing on over there it is a little bit older uh, the people are not cleaning it up but it is fine it is like hey, what the atmosphere is in is here and over here you also see uh, our massive trees that we have created i think we have created one massive tree in three hours and then we just copy it in place in different places but it looks like so cool and also here you see really good the giant uh, tree roots growing everywhere and like like stuck in the ground on different heights uh, so this is also a really good feeling of that the people are like just small creatures As you see here we have created like another resting place a stop for the people to go where they can take some food and drinks again yeah we call it the hippo cathedral it's more like a built-in close into the walls and we had not like a lot of space so it was a really cool challenge but i really love this little place it is so like it feels old it feels like a sucked in the nature we have with all the waterfalls that you see behind it and through it and this is also like with a lot of moss and lianes so it feels a bit old already but such a magical area is this uh, where people just can take a rest go to the toilet <laughs> watching the animals from over here
okay just uh, still a little bit to go but we're almost at the end but first before we arrive like the next habitat we have to do a little bit of a walking tour now this walking tour is bringing us back to the nature and we have to climb a little bit Over here you can just see what the nature is doing, the, the big tree roots growing everywhere, all the plants and the rocks will doing that thing here. It is more like a walking garden or something. And another funny thing that we have created that is also like an example in Gold Rush 2, you have those big flying airships. Those big airships uh, in Gold Rush 2, they are flying and can fighting and, and bringing you somewhere, for example. Uh, but in the Gold Rush 2, uh, the jungle, uh, you also have those ships like wrap it up and uh, like getting stuck in the nature because the dragon Mortranov, the nature dragon, is like, no, you cannot fly there. I will uh, grab you when you are stuck here for now. <laughs> like destroying. So I was thinking like, oh, how cool will it be if we create our own airship? It was a really cool challenge. <laughs> it was testing my building limits to the top, but I'm so happy I have tried it and it looks so cool though. And you can see it here hanging or being stuck. It is going anywhere anymore, uh, but it looks really cool. And that makes this little place a little bit more extra atmospheric and doing their thing you know <laughs> if we walk further we will see like a little staircase this was just something different and something of an other five where we went through it was just a staircase like going down in diagonal wise and we make it like more a modern japanese architecture kind of garden just only red stones with some nice plants and trees and statues it's like a transfer place where you can go to to get yourself to another habitat And here we are arriving our last habitat already. <laughs> it was such a fun. We have created this whole park without the tropical pack. <laughs> Until almost the end that we are thinking like, oh, maybe we are finished this park up. A tropical pack was released. So we had to do a little bit more and I had to try create a new place with all the new tropical pieces we got. So this is maybe a less inspired by Gold Rush 2, but we had just some fun with creating with all the new tropical pack uh, area. We have make a little hallway and if you are walking out of this hallway you will see like a big jungle palace. Uh, how do you want to call it? It is just like a small area. I think this is our smallest habitat. But we place the seals over here. They can swim. They're having fun. They can even enter the palace from the back. 
and have a sleep and food over there. This is such like a cozy place. Uh, again, we play some lianes and moss to make it feel a bit more overgrown. Trees everywhere. I think we have placed more than a million trees in this whole park. Sometimes I wish there was an encounter for you. You can see how many objects you place on fun something that will be cool. <laughs> yeah, this is such a cozy area and all created by the new pack. so that was like the whole tour <laughs> sorry i tried to make it shorter but it was so much to show and i really just love to show it to you uh, to all of you guys so i hope you will like it i also have like made a little footage of how this park will look like in nighttime just a little bit shorter because we did a lot of lighting but i don't want to bother you again with 40 minutes of a walkthrough Enjoy this park by night time.
thank you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed this tour it was such a pleasure to make this video uh, it was a bit a lot as well but yeah we created for 1.3 years uh, with this park on twitch i stream every thursday on planet zoo so feel free uh, to stop by and let's create together because this park of course i have created but also with a lot of inspiration and help and tips from you guys but it was such a pleasure i had a great time the next park is going to be probably be a bit shorter <laughs> this park is in my heart i just love to combine two games that i like one mmorpg game and one building creative game put them together and you get this park it, that is how it feels for me uh, and i hope it is coming over for you as well and i hope it inspired you uh, to create something feel free to hang out on twitch and uh, sharing your inspiration or your thoughts about it or leave your comments down below what people will say uh, and i hope you have a great day thank you for watching and until the next one bye guys